What is up? I'm Surgeon Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Today we're going to be talking about modding uh, this 3D printer. This is my $125 Tron XY X1 3D printer. So I'm going to try to go over all the mods and group them in ways that make sense and have links to absolutely every product and tool that I use to pull this off, as well as all of the different files from Thingiverse and even the files that I've kind of custom done in the description below. So check those out. Let's get into to it. All right, moving on to one of the, I think, more noticeable and a little bit of a convenience um, focused mod, and that is this case down here. Um, as I noted in my review, I thought that this was a pretty good portable printer. Um, it has a very small footprint in general, but it's kind of uh, spoiled by the fact that it had a, an external control box, and this case kind of solves that. Um, I did mention that I printed all of the prints on this uh, printer, and that was the case with this. I actually found this case which I like because it had a front facing LCD as opposed to one that was under here, which would kind of get your hands in the way of the bed when it was moving back and forth. So I like the front facing one, um, but he didn't have it split up. So I downloaded it, pulled it into Fusion 360 and split it up. I will have that uploaded if you want to do that as well. I actually do have a, another version of this case that I modified myself and remixed that I will have uploaded. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video because I want to get your impressions on it. But overall, I really like having this case. Um, I, it, it gets everything into a smaller footprint. Um, I do need to find a better way to secure it down. Right now, it's not 100% secured down to it. But uh, I, I imagine I can design some clips or just use screws to screw it into the base but I like how clean it makes it look it uh, it gets the electronics into uh, actually a, a larger space than the um, stock ones so hopefully the the slots in here will allow for a lot more airflow and stuff like that I did go ahead and um, take the uh, SD card extension that I had on the old box and I reused it here so I just have it on the side and I, I really really like it I, I think it makes it look clean and I recommend picking some type of um, under printer enclosure a lot of printers are going to this style even companies like um, Creality with their CRX and the Ender 3 and the uh, CR20 they've all uh, moved away from the external control box and have moved things underneath the printer kind of like uh, Wan Hao has been doing for a while like Prusa has been doing um, even the a net kits have their uh, uh, LCD and stuff like that uh, embedded in the printer so I, I definitely think that's a great mod I'm gonna talk about it again in a little while when I talk about future mods but uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about was the Raspberry Pi so I have had two printers for a while and I had been thinking about getting a Raspberry Pi because it helps you kind of manage them and get Octopi, just just buy a Raspberry Pi. I'll have links to everything in the description. If you guys want me to do a whole video on the setup, I can do that, but it's fairly straightforward and there's a lot of stuff out there about it already. I did go ahead and print a Raspberry Pi case, which I don't have secured down because I'm kind of still, uh, I'm gonna be swapping the cases uh, over in a little while, but um, it's pretty straightforward to get set up. And once you have it set up, it's such a great kind of convenience thing. I did go ahead and also get the Raspberry Pi camera, which I talked about the arm. Um, I custom designed this arm uh, based off of a re I remixed it off of uh, one design for a, a Prusa and I basically moved it away from the bed a little bit so that it can get more into view and then I swapped around the way that this uh, ribbon cable feeds in and I added uh, that pivot because it was on a ball joint before and uh, it just wouldn't stay up yeah it's been great I can monitor my prints from anywhere because you can remotely connect uh, to your server from outside of your network or just remote into a computer that is local so that you can uh, bring up the web interface uh, you can send prints to your printer remotely if it's in another room you can pause the prints uh, if you see that you're running out of filament um, just a huge amount of functionality uh, time lapse is built in with the Pi camera so not only can you monitor your printer but you can have it take a picture every layer change or every X amount of seconds and there's a really cool uh, plugin called Octolapse which allows you to do stuff like move the print head to a certain area uh, before you take the printer uh, before you take the picture so that you can get some really really cool um, nice time lapses and I'm playing around with that I want to work out a way to try to utilize a higher quality camera like a DSLR in order to take the pictures just because I think
think it'll produce a much higher quality um, image uh, than the Pi camera can. It's not bad, honestly. Uh, you can produce um, uh, 1080p uh, style videos. I do recommend running it at its native resolution, which is higher than 1080p. The problem with that is that it can only run at uh, 15 FPS, so it makes um, the monitoring kind of herky or jerky, but uh, it makes the pictures that it takes much, much more clear and you can get a lot more into view. All right, so I mentioned talking about some of the things I plan to do in the future in order to make this uh, a little bit better. And the main thing is just iterating on the case design um, and changing out the power supply. As I mentioned in the uh, full review, this power supply is a little a bit of a double-edged sword because it does mean that you don't have to worry about touching mains voltage. It uh, makes the printer kind of more accessible for people without electronics experience or maybe uh, even, a, you know, a teenager or a kid who you don't want messing with uh, 120 or 240 volts but then it's also a little bit on the underpowered side um, it struggles you can hear the fan um, start to struggle when the uh, hot end turns on a little bit adding an extra fan is gonna make that a little bit worse and then if you ever wanted to do anything like add a um, uh, heated bed you're definitely gonna have to change out the PSU but I was able to find some PSUs which would work with this smaller case that um, I really really like and these are actually mean well so they're pretty high quality um, pretty well known PSU manufacturer they're passively cooled um, and they will fit in uh, this case this is uh, an iteration I did and I'm really liking uh, what I've done here I actually uh, took his STL and put Put it into Fusion 360 and was able to kind of cat this up and modify it in order to a fit a PSU. So um, three options for the PSU. This is a 75 watt, which is a little bit more powerful than 60 watts and very very small. Uh, there is a hundred watts, which I hear is kind of a good kind of sweet spot for this printer in terms of uh, not having to spend a lot of money. Uh, it unfortunately hasn't arrived yet, so I'm waiting for that one. It's about right in between in terms of size of uh, these two. And then there's this 150 watt, which um, will still kind of fit in here. It'll be a tighter fit and cooling might be a little bit more of an issue, but I do plan on swapping in a nice Meanwell PSU to go along with um, this case. And thinking about that, I also went ahead and modified the case so that it has a slot for one of these AC uh, inlets and pow fuse power switches. So generally, if you're gonna add a power switch, you want to do it on the AC side. That way the actual whole PSU turns off. That said, if you do end up wanting to stick with um, this you know, 60 watts, then I did add a spot where you can add one of these rocker style power switches that is rated um, for way above that wattage and you can pick these up. Uh, I did also add a spots for um, a 40 millimeter fan since these are passively cooled PSUs. I want some airflow to be able to flow through here and I'll probably go with another one of those Noctua's. Um, maybe the 20, meter, uh, 20 millimeter 40 by 20 instead of just the uh, 40 by uh, 10 because it'll move a little bit more air. Um, I did add holes so that these uh, PSUs, which um, actually just kind of sits on this existing post that the original uh, guy put in the design. Um, I added holes so that you can screw into them with um, the standard screws that they utilize. One thing I do think I'll do is modify this such that it's uh, the screen sits at a 45 degree angle. You see that a lot on printers like the uh, Prusa and basically, um, you know, the horrible buttons I mentioned on that uh, 2004 LCD five button screen. Uh, when you push them, sometimes it causes the printer to kind of scoot across uh, away from you. Um, you can alleviate that with some feet to put on here. Um, I do have some felt feet on this one so it won't scratch my table. Um, I actually picked up some of the little kind of clear gel ones uh, which are a bit stickier and, and will help it not uh, skew as much. But um, yeah, having also having that 45 degree angle screen will um, put some of the force downwards so that it won't scoot away from you. So uh, really excited to keep improving this printer. I will be doing mods on my other printers, including some of the ones you see here, like the Pets Fang, but also um, some more specific to them, like the Wan Hao and my CR10, which I picked up recently. I will be having a video uh, on the CR10. It's been really, really well covered. So um, I kind of want to do something different with it, but we'll see. And yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to see any more in-depth content on how I did any of the catting for this or that, um, let me know in the uh, comments below. Let me know what 
printers you guys are using, what mods you've done to it, um, anything I did that you think maybe I can improve on and things like that. Don't flame me too much um, if I did something that you don't agree with. But uh, yeah, let's be civil and talk about things uh, in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm really psyched to keep bringing you guys content on 3D printing. Um, I will be using 3D printers to mod other things like in my setup, um, some skateboard stuff I'm doing, some PC stuff I'm building. Um, so really, really excited about those projects as well. Um, they're taking a little bit longer, so I'm not doing, you know, like the three videos a week that a lot of YouTubers do, but, um, you know, hopefully you guys still enjoy the content I'm putting out. Uh, so that is it. Thank you guys once again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.